Day 5 of lockdown today. It is pouring with rain so I'm quite happy to be staying home today. I don't really want to go out there anyway. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me and I'm going to be talking about trying to be the best version of ourselves. And this is a collab with Amethyst Winters who is otherwise known as Jennifer Miller. So today's video is a little bit off my normal topics of art and makeup but you just never know when what someone says is really going to have an impact on another person's life and I was watching Amethyst aka Jennifer one of her Sunday motivational videos and she was talking about gratitude and she watched The Secret I got curious and went and researched that a bit and, and had a look at it and it really inspired me and I wanted to do this collab with Amethyst because she inspired me with it. And so I'm going to be talking about gratitude and gratitude, doing a gratitude journal and how it's helped me. So in the spirit of this video, I would like to show my gratitude to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and have watched my videos and commented on my videos and become my friends here on YouTube. I really appreciate you all and thank you so much for enriching my life in the way you have because YouTube has really been my saviour the last two years I have to say. So thank you. Hi Laura here from Gold Star Work. I'm an artist and a makeup lover and I love to play with colour and be creative and I like to share that with you in the hopes that I can inspire you in your creativity. So what's this video going to be about? Well I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm also going to, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at my notes because I, I wrote so many notes for this video. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about gratitude and doing a gratitude journal and how it has helped me. So um, I, I wrote many, many, many notes on video, just many pages of stuff I wanted to talk about and cover. So I'll try not to make it too long, but it could be a bit rambly. Did I ever tell you I was an information junkie? Well. Looking at all those notes, you now know that I'm an information junkie. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about how doing the Gratitude Journal has really impacted my life. And I'm going to talk about what is gratitude and why, to, why you should do it and how to do it if you're doing a Gratitude Journal. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then just stick around. Do you have a Gratitude Journal? Or have you ever thought about writing one? And if you do, write in the comments down below if, if you do or if you've ever thought about it because I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on it. So I'm going to start my eye look and today I've got a vague idea of what I'm doing. I might use my Dracon Hull X Morphe palette that the beautiful Kelly recently gifted me and I might use my Ready Daydreamer palette from Makeup Obsessions and I might just use some random shadows I have deposited in here. <laughs> so I'm going to start and talk as I go, which doesn't always work that well. <laughs> Does anyone else have trouble talking and doing something at the same time? I know I always do. <laughs> and I know um, Jennifer always does <laughs> In my mind I keep going, Amethyst, Jennifer, I never know quite what to say. So I may mix up the name, but I'm talking about the same person. <laughs> so I discovered Amethyst a little while ago through a collab she did, and um, she's very sweet. I'm going to start off with a pale pink, so I'm going to go into this one here. So she is an author, so she writes novels. And um, she's getting ready to publish her first one at the moment, so she's very busy writing, which is very exciting. I'm going to go 
into this one here. And she is also a makeup lover. And she's a mum. And that's what she talks about on her channel. So she talks about writing and makeup and being a mum. So she does lots of lots of makeup ones. So she does chatty videos. She's a very chatty person, and that's I love watching chatty people because I feel like I'm just sitting with a friend and watching them, listening to them. And I comment in the comments like I was just talking to a friend <laughs> because that's that's how I feel with those chatty kind of videos. So I, I love that about her that she's nice and chatty. And she's, she's very supportive as well. She will um, come and comment on my videos, but she also DMs and, and says, oh, how are you and how are things going? And, and, and I really appreciate that when somebody takes the time out of their day just to randomly check up on you for no particular reason. <laughs> so she's very friendly. And she does Shop Miss Dash and she does lots of, she's getting into lots of collabs. And she does looks and she does project pants. And she does what inspired this video, what she calls motivational motivational Sunday. And she said her I think it was her sister, she said, had sent her a link. I'm going to go into framed. Sent her a link to a video on The Secret. Which is a motivational type. Um, looking at different parts of your life and, and improving it and self-improvement and things and it really inspired her and she wanted to do a series about the different parts in it and that, so that was her introduction and I actually I didn't actually see the introduction first I actually saw the first one she started after that and she did it on gratitude and it really touched something in me and it made me very curious, so I started down my research journey after watching that. I'm just making sure I'm even because I'm not concentrating at all what I'm doing. So, so that led me to the book The Law of Attraction. And I'm still listening to that on audiobook because there is a lot to take in and I have to stop and take notes and, and I kind of do some of the exercises in it and then go back and listen to it some more and, and some of it has been quite challenging in terms of mentally challenging me especially the bit where it, one of the first things that it asks you to do is um doing finding your purpose in life <laughs> that was kind of challenging but i did get there but that's for another video <laughs> but they also talked about doing the gratitude journal and um i decided to start doing the gratitude journal so I'm going to go into this little one here from Classy Cake Cosmetics that Sandra Cake does from My Californian Life. I'll link her channel down below if you're interested. And this one is called You Have Got To Be Kidding Me. <laughs> I'll put that all open the lid. So yeah, I decided to start doing a gratitude journal, as I said before, as kind of one of the first steps that I started in, in this journey for me to become the best version of myself that I could be. And just trying to improve the general quality of my life, because I have been through some pretty stressful times the last two years, and I needed help <laughs> to um, sort me out, really. And I'll, I'll touch on it a little bit later on, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because um, that's not what you're here for. <laughs> but so far, I would say it's helped me just be a happier person overall, which I really appreciate. I'm going to go into this colour here. This is out of my Sofix palette. It's called Sparks. Mm, I think. I've already put that shimmer on. I might get some glitter glue. Put that on. I always feel like I need to do a voice over with this, but 
I would rather not because I just want a more the tutti style of video in a voice anyway. Um, it's definitely helped me sleep better, which I wasn't really expecting, but after the research I did, apparently I should have been expecting that. And it's helped me to get more motivated and achieve more during my day, which makes me happier as well, because I like to feel like I have achieved during my day and done stuff, and not just sit around <laughs> wasting my time kind of thing. <laughs> and it it's helped me become a lot more tolerant and kind towards others as well. And I'm, I feel much more motivated to, or, yeah, who's motivated the right word? I don't know. I I'm just feel like I want to make time for the people in my life, my friends and my family and things when they want to come and talk to me. Instead of thinking, oh, I've got to get this done, I've got to go do this and that, and they're trying to talk to me, I'm like, appreciating them more and making the time to actually spend that time with them. So there were some unexpected benefits for me, I found, in doing the gratitude journal that I wasn't expecting. And the other thing that I wasn't expecting to help with, I had been thinking of going off my antidepressants for a little bit and it is, has actually helped me a lot in that now I'm not saying that if you're on antidepressants you should do a gratitude journal and go off antidepressants I'm just saying that it is something that I had been thinking about doing because I had been on them for just over a year with stuff that was going on in my life because my depression is very is triggered from very situational type things, things that are happening in my life is, is what triggers me. And things are kind of settled down a little bit at the moment. There's still drama, but it's not as bad as it was. So um, I decided I wanted to go off the antidepressants, but I hadn't quite done it, and I started the gratitude journal, and because I suddenly felt a lot happier, and it only took a couple of days before I started feeling a lot happier and a lot more positive, it gave me the courage to go off them, and I've now been off them for two months, haven't felt the need to go back on them yet, so that's really good, um, I was really pleased about that, but don't go doing that without consulting your doctor. So, that's my eyes so far, I think I want to add some purple, I'm going to go in with my Yes, it's not just an eye pencil, and I think it's got purple, right? I'm going to go into this one here, which is also from the Sofix palette. What was this one called? Mixed berries, that was called. That seems an appropriate colour for that. An uh, appropriate name for that colour. It's not, it's not actually the colour I was thinking of. Hang on. Do I want that colour? I wanted a pop of something else. What, what have I got in this one? I might go into this colour here. That was more of the colour I was thinking of. Just for under there for a pop of something different. It's still quite pinky. It's still more pinky than I was thinking, but it'll do. And, and now I've got a really dramatic under eye. <laughs> Clean that up a bit. And then finish what I was talking about. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with my Australis primer and my Body Shop face mist and then I'm going to mix these three foundations together to put on my face and then I'll powder and do other things and I'll show you the products as I go after that but um, I don't want to, because I'm going to talk to you about this um, I'm just telling you first what I'm going to use, so I don't have to keep stopping and telling you what I'm using. So, what is gratitude? I had a look on um, in the dictionary, and it says, Gratitude is the quality of being thankful, a readiness to show appreciation for, and to return kindness. I love that. I never thought about it as appreciation and to return kindness. Uh, I love that definition of it. 
and I know Jennifer said <laughs> just before I sat down to film I messaged Jennifer and said well what are you going to talk about because she hadn't decided beforehand and I want to read to you what she actually wrote because it was quite funny <laughs> she said everything and I will I filmed mine and I talked about gratitude journal and meditating and writing down your goals I went everywhere girl <laughs> so I will be very interested in seeing what her video is like and I hope you'll go and check her out too and I will put her down below in the description box so go and check Amethyst out she is new to fairly new to the YouTube world and um she would really appreciate your support and I'm sure you will enjoy watching her as well. So I'm going to mix these three foundations together because apparently I'm just extra and can't just use one out of a bottle. <laughs> I'm going to have way more foundation than I need because I'm mixing. And I know Jennifer and I will approach this subject very differently. So you will get quite different perspectives on it, which I think is great because I I love to research and I love to hear what different people have to say about things and then I form my own opinions from there. Now there were in my while I was researching, there were two blogs that I am particularly going to be referencing in what I'm talking about today. And one of them was from Greater Good Magazine blog, which is a science-based insights for a meaningful life. And in this article, they were quoting Robert Emmons and the psychologist Sonia Bonskai. I don't know how to pronounce that, but <laughs> they were interest it was an interesting, very more science-y kind of blog. And the other one that I was looking at was the blog from Mindful Valley, How to Create a Powerful Gratitude Journal and Stick to It. And of course, what really got me going, apart from Amethyst's video on gratitude, was um, the Law of Attraction book as well. And I'm just listening to it on an audiobook. And I actually just got it free off YouTube, so I didn't actually pay anything for it. So if you want to go and check out the Law of Attraction book. I encourage you, if you're into um, self-improvement, to go and check that out because it is really interesting. Uh, in those two research, in, the, in my research, there were some kind of points that were different in, in different things I was reading, which there always is. Some, some people will say one thing and some people will say another. So I'm going to sort of cover what resonated with me but also the things that were common in all of them so when you find the same people when you find a whole lot of different people saying the same thing you can kind of think okay that's going to be more likely to be a true story <laughs> kind of thing so and that's what i'm going to do so why should you do a gratitude journal? If you're thinking about it and you're thinking, well, how is this going to benefit me? Well, scientifically, I, well, I told you how it's benefited me personally, but scientifically, it, it is actually supposed to help you sleep better. You're supposed to have fewer symptoms of illness, which could be great at this time in the world, and more happiness in your life. And that is definitely what I was looking for, more happiness in my life. It's when we need gratitude the most that's often the hardest time to find it. When you're overcome with grief or sadness or anxiety or anger, it's hard to see what's going right in your life. And I have been experiencing all those things, not so much the anger part, but all the other, the sadness and the grief and the anxiety. I've definitely been feeling the last few years. And for, yeah, for various reasons, and one of them being my husband was, he got sick 
and um, ended up being diagnosed with a brain tumour and extremely stressful <laughs> to say the least. And my mum has, is in the advanced stages of Parkinson and for the last two years she's just steadily been getting worse and we ha ended up having to put her in a nurse's home because um, she could no longer walk on her own so we couldn't look after her any longer and that was very hard and stressful watching her disappear basically I don't want to cry just I'm not going to make it <laughs> okay, took a breath and um, the other thing is um, my youngest daughter has been suffering from severe anxiety. She was diagnosed and has been getting help and things for that. But for a while there, she couldn't go to school at all. She, um, because the anxiety is based around school, but she wanted to go to school. So it wasn't like she didn't want to go to school. And so we could just take her out of school and put her on correspondence. She wanted to go to school. So um, we have been battling that for a while and that, that started before the health issues with my husband but just got progressively worse and so me dealing with all that around me has been extremely stressful and I've been grieving definitely okay I wasn't planning on getting so emotional <laughs> So, I'm putting my bronze on. <laughs> YouTube has definitely been a great distraction in doing my um, makeup videos. So, thank you to all of you again for helping me through all this. But, this year, things are coming down a bit. The problems are all still there. But we have managed to stay out of the emergency room for a whole year. Apart from when my dad broke his wrist. But apart from that, we've stayed out of the emergency room for the whole year. And things have just been... Watering my way. So things have calmed down a little. And so I decided... I needed to take the next step in making my life happier and enjoying it more because that's what it's about, you know, finding meaning and purpose in your life and being happy. Everybody wants to be happy in their life. And so that's what I have been working on. And so Amethyst's video, or Jennifer's video, really just came at the right time for me. I was ready to do something about my life. <laughs> and I'm using my Revolution, Revolution Pro brush palette, and I'm using this one here, which is number two. I don't have to hold it up so down because there's no mirror. light pink glowy blush which is what I'm looking for so I know that in order to change anything in my life I have to actually change me I can't just change things on the outside it's me that needs to make changes for me to feel differently about my life and so that's what I'm doing this year to become a better version of myself so the law of attraction basically says and I'm just going to read it off here so I don't get it wrong what we have and feel is what we create more of. So the more happiness will gravitate towards those who are already happy. And the reason to do gratitude is the greatest benefit of gratitude is happiness. Gratitude for what we have creates happiness. So that's why I decided on doing a gratitude journal. <laughs> I feel like I need to hurry up and talk faster. Because I'm going to finish my makeup before I finish what I need to talk about. <laughs> so your journal doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be anything you like. And 
whether it's an app on your phone or whether it's an actual book or a scrap piece of paper, whatever you want. But they do say you should write it down because they say, and I'm going to read this off here so that I don't muck it up. <laughs> Writing helps organize thoughts, helps you to accept your own experiences and see the meaning in events and create more meaning in your life. So that's why I chose to write and I wanted to physically write in a journal because writing to me flows better that way because I'm constant. I went to the store and it took me a little while to find what I wanted to um, write in because I I didn't want anything fancy or anything but then I saw this one and it's got want to be happy written on it and that spoke to me. <laughs> so yep, that's it, that's it, that's my journal. And I started my first entry on the 29th of January. Yeah, it's my first entry. So that's how long I have been doing my journal. And just find today's one. So there have been some days I've missed. But I've done most of the days, as you can see. Most of the days have got writing in them. And like my first entries in the very first day was two days without antidepressants and I still feel good. <laughs> that was my first entry in my gratitude journal. I'm grateful Paul is feeling good today was another entry that day. And Elise was happy and wanted to spend time with me. So for me that, that was a plus. And today, one of the first, the first thing I wrote in today was today I'm grateful for a new day to step over. Because I didn't have a very good day yesterday. <laughs> um, Mood-wise, I had some bad news and um, it kind of took my mood down. But today I'm ready to start again. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, being able to start over. So write it down in whatever way suits you, but write it down. It doesn't matter whether you do it in the morning or in the evening or if you do it once a week or twice a week, whatever suits you. And this is where some of the um, research stuff I was reading differs because in one of the research papers I was reading, it was they were saying don't do it every day because it loses meaning when it just becomes a habit and you do it every day. But then and it has more powerful results if you just do it two to three times a week or once a week, depending on the person. And in another one I was reading, it was like, well, do what suits you if you're the kind of person who needs to do something every day to form a habit, otherwise you don't do it at all, then it's better to do it every day. Um, I wouldn't say I need to do it every day to form a habit, otherwise I don't do it at all. Uh, what I've found is the days that I don't do it, I feel significantly less happy. <laughs> the days that I do it, I feel a lot better. And I haven't been doing any, any makeup. I was just talking about all that. But I haven't got that much left of my makeup yet. But I've also only got one page left of this. <laughs> so, some of the things that they talk about and what I want to implement some of them a bit more into my life, I'm going to spray my face with my setting color. Hang on. My setting spray, I should say, my setting powder. And, and I can't do that and talk at the same time. <laughs> is don't just go through the motions. I'm going to get, what, what am I going to get? I'm going to get a bit of this here, which is the Revolution Blush Golden Sugar. But it looks more like a highlighter to me. And I just want to add a little pop on my cheeks there. So don't just go through the motions and hurry through it. It's not just an, another item on your to-do list. And go for depth rather than amount. So they say in what I was reading, that you want to elaborate in detail about a particular thing. And that will carry more weight than a list of a whole lot of superficial things. And you want to concentrate more on people than on things because that will create more happiness and more gratefulness. 
I do both. I do things and people and like, I don't know, the sun is shining, yay, and <laughs> things like that. And make a conscious decision to become happier and grateful while you're writing that. So those are, those are things that I could work on as well. Okay, what do I need to do now? I think I need to do my mascara. So I'm going to use these two, which are, um, this is without it. This one's the standing innovation, and this one is the grand entrance, which is nearly empty. And they also suggest that you save our surprises, is what they say. Record events that were unexpected or surprising, as they will have more impact and stronger levels of gratitude. So don't forget to write those down. I don't have that many surprises. Some of them aren't that good, so I don't want them. <laughs> I would get worried now. I mean, like when the phone rings. You never know whether this could be good news or bad news. <laughs> I'm lost in the black pencil. Here we go. If you're thinking about writing gratitude journal and you're sitting there and going, I still have no idea what to write in here. I don't know what to write about any people or anything. There, my bonus tip, and that they suggested, is reflect on what your life would be like if that certain, they call it a blessing, sort of person or thing or experience. Mm -hmm. If that wasn't there, what would your life be like? And then can you think of you know, how you would feel then and what you were grateful for for having that in your life? Which I think is an interesting reverse psychology kind of experiment. And it's definitely something that I have been reflecting on a lot over the last two years, but um, not necessarily in a good way. Now I can do it in a good way because I know I can do it, but before that there was a lot of grief involved in thinking like, like my husband isn't in my life anymore, and what I would miss, and, and that's where a lot of my grief and sadness was coming from. And so being able to appreciate what I have right now, that is really important. So thinking, thinking of things in my life as a gift, as something that I treasure and want to really appreciate. And something that I want to do more of in my gratitude journal is to expand more on what I appreciate and why. Because that's the other thing they say, the more you can expand it and sort of talk about why, rather than just have a whole list of stuff. Because I, I have been tending in my gratitude journal to do a more list like things. And then I read somewhere, and I can't remember where I read it first, that you should expand it more. So I started expanding more. And I'm just trying to find a good example. So when I, when I first started, and this was like February 1st, I, would, I was just writing single lines, like, I'm grateful the air conditioner works today because it was really hot that day, but I hadn't written about that. Happy Elise had a good day with her friends. I'm grateful Paul never questions the money I spent. <laughs> and I'm grateful I had a fun day shopping by myself. It's quite funny. <laughs> but now I expand a bit more on what I'm, on what I'm writing. So one of the things that I wrote this morning was, I'm grateful for my YouTube friends I talk with on Instagram so they can give me tips and support. And I could expand on that a whole lot more. And and I think that's that's where I'm going to be going with my gratitude journal in the future, is trying to expand more. And now I've just got lipstick to go. Uh, I want something pink. I haven't got anything pink out because I'm in a pink mood. Never get in a certain colour mode. I'm just going to use my 
Um, what happened to my voice? <laughs> it's still going weird. So I'm just going to use my Ultra 3 in a light candy because it's a very light, warm pink. So I hope that was helpful and thank you so much Amethyst Jennifer for collabing with me and for inspiring me to go down the path of looking at gratitude and inspiring me to be the, a better version of myself so that I can be happy because that's what we're all looking for. We're all looking for happiness. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Happy day.